You're gonna to wanna to subscribe so you get these cooking teacher tips like the for the pop, poppy seed fruit salad. Um, when you mix fruits together, um, that's just so much uh, more enjoyable. But let me give you the, the tip, tips and tricks. So the one thing you can do, and you don't need to use more than a teaspoon or so, is uh, use mix some brown sugar in there and it creates a glaze. Again, you don't need very much. And um, the other thing, that's really all you need to do, but if you want to kick it up, what you can do is maybe just put just a tiny bit of citrus, like this is some lime juice, or you could use lemon juice, and put that on it. And I wanted to tell you another tip, which is uh, there's a tiny bit of banana in here, but I am not a big fan of bananas in fruit salads because they just don't hold any kind of, they have no staying power and they're so easy to eat just as a banana. So any other fruit. Lastly, let's say you wanna put some poppy seeds in it because you've seen recipes for that. You aren't gonna need very much. But the thing to know about poppy seeds is like any, any spice, they don't last forever. And although I've read online that they can hang around for three or four years in your cupboard, if you're gonna use poppy seeds, it's such an important thing in your kitchen. You're making poppy seed bread or you're sprinkling it on a salad. You wanna make sure it's fresh. So I always put a date on all of my uh, spices. And this one is, well, it's like a year and a half old. So I know that and it still looks good, but I won't be keeping it that much longer before I get brand new poppy seeds. So, this is Get Real in the Kitchen with Deanna Olson. One take, live from Denver. See you next time.